Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I'm reviewing today a 118 scale higher alien xenomorph figure. Uh, it looks quite good. I picked this up the other day. There was a sale at Easter sale at Locker Toys in Hong Kong, so I got this at a reduced price and also a couple of Predators, which I'll be reviewing in a moment too. I am really looking forward to this because this does look really good with the Predators or other figures on my Nova Ubiquitous Dio set, which I've uh, reviewed and you can see in my videos. So let me crack this open and have a look. Have a look at the box first. The figure looks nice. There's like a grill on the bottom. Uh, this is from 2017. <clears throat> it says, Exquisite Mini is a new stand series 118 super articulation action figures under higher toys. It says R action, A R and action. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Okay, so let's crack this up and have a look. There's some tape on the box on the top, which I'm trying to get off now. Ooh. Okay, let's get that. Okay, let's slide this out and have a look. Now, I have looked at this next to another figure in the box, and I'm just wondering about the scale. Okay, so there's a, like, a poster or card, postcard inside, sort of size, which shows a alien xenomorph head. Really nice. They've got other figures in the range, including the um, APC, which has recently been released. It's quite expensive. I may pick one up in the future if I have the money. We have Soldier, Lurker, Boiler, Splitter, Hudson, Hicks, uh, Quintero, Power Loader, Cruz, Redding, Bella. You have a Raven and a Crusher. So quite a lot in this actual series. There are probably more since this uh, this was released because it's two years old. But that APC does look really nice. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, the Alien comes with Spare Set of Hands. This Flooring Grill, the figure... And it looks like those are supports for the feet. Okay, let's open this up and have a look. Is there any tape on this? Another, okay, that's easier enough. So let's look at the flooring piece first. Nice grill, good effect. And this little peg for the foot there. Or maybe it's for these black parts, I'm not sure yet. Um, spare right hand, it looks quite nice. Interestingly that the hole is in the hand, not the peg. Unlike most other figures where you have the peg on the actual hand and the hole on the forearm. Left hand, it looks like a mirror image, is that right? I would say that's mirror image. Um, he's popped out. I'm not entirely sure what these are. Uh, maybe one of you, one of my, one of you guys who are higher fans have got these can tell me. I thought these were to keep the feet in place, not quite sure. Okay, let's look at the actual figure itself. Ah, oh, this looks really nice. Okay, sculpt is really good. I would say it's a tad small. The head should be bigger. Uh, the figure should be bigger, but it looks quite tall if you straighten it out. Let's have a look there. Yeah, that does look menacing. That's how it came out in the box. So we have uh, head articulation and neck. So head is side to side. Down and up, uh, mouth does open and close. Does the little jaw come out? I think it's probably one piece stuck in there. Oh no, it does move, but I can't grab it to get it out. So, oh no, it doesn't move. Uh, there's small side to side, which is quite cool. Again, um, let's have a look. Shoulders go about 180, not too high. The joints are really thin, so I want to be careful with this. I don't want to break anything. Arms look ridiculously long. Um, he gets a 90 degree, so average bend on the elbows there. Waist, there is a torso, forwards and backwards, side to side. Uh, tail, no joint on the tail that I can see. It's usually just a tail that we can put down to help him stand up. Uh, there is a... Double kneecap, but not the usual double kneecap. That was interesting. Um, and the feet have an ankle, and they have a t have toe articulation as well. 
So if I make him stand up really tall using his tail balance, he looks massive there, but it's not how you would see him in a movie. Um, <laughs> pretty good. I just wish there was a joint on the tail, or maybe a couple of joints on the tail, not this flexible. I mean, it's good because it helps him stand up by going there. The holes on the feet, there are no holes on the feet for pegs. And there are no holes in this for pegs that I can see. Um, does this fit on there to help the feet? Not that I can tell. Okay, so maybe someone can tell me what these are for. They know. I'm not sure how that's supposed to go on to there. But that's quite nice seeing you. Anyway, so he is an awesome looking figure. The sculpt is great. Uh, it's a quite a good plastic. Uh, wrists do turn, but there's no flexation in there. And you can just pop them out and pop the other ones in. Uh, the hands, default hands, and are not a mirror image. They're not exactly the same, swapped. Whereas these two do appear to be mirror image, just almost identical, just opposite. Okay, let me stand up nice and tall. Let me get an idea of how big he is. We'll get a size comparison. Uh, he's probably the biggest 118 figure I own, near enough, I think. Um, unless, of course, you want to look at um, some of those, well, for me, that I've got. But in the other of the Marvel lines, got like Galactus in 118 and Sentinels, and they're massive. Okay, let's compare him to a Spaceman. Well, not a Spaceman. Mr. Freeze, I'll keep using. He's a really big 118 scale figure. And we can see that the alien is bigger than him. Now, you may be thinking Mr. Freeze isn't that big. And I said he's really big. Let me get a standard 118. Let me go for, let me see, Winter Soldier. Mr. Freeze towers over Winter Soldier, and the alien towers over him when he's fully extended, fully upright as well. Uh, if I get Black Widow, who's a great figure, a uh, Marvel one from the Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, don't fall over. And again, the alien, if he's stretched out, will tower over her significantly. Let's get one more big figure. Let's get um, Hulk. This is a big figure, bigger than Mr. Freeze, and Hulk is about the same size, actually, so it's pretty good scale. Uh, I really like this. It does look really cool. Uh, let me have a quick look on the box again. Yeah, they send, They seem to have post, uh, posed theirs with legs bent, more like sort of this. I'm not sure I can get that same angle, though. Difficult to get the angle with the uh, tail like that. Legs back a bit more, perhaps. Feet forwards and toes down, maybe. I want him to go on his toes, but on his tail down to support him. Okay, that's pretty good. I just wish that little mouth and would come in and out but it is fixed that'd be really nice but this is still a really nice figure um the hands are quite good both sets because they're like this they're not gonna hold weapons but it can hook onto things to so get that sort of a uh, stalking pose that is really really nice this is a fantastic figure okay i'm gonna be back in a second for you but a few minutes for me i'm gonna set him up on my dio then you will have a look at what he's like in a die situation okay stay there be back in a minute and I am back, and I set up a very, very quick dio, where some maintenance droid has been uh, decommissioned or something, someone's looking at it. And then we have the alien, the xenomorph, coming from behind to reap havoc and to kill this unsus unsuspecting victim here. So we have three different brands, we have uh, Epoch Capsule Toy Droid, uh, we have Mariam from uh, Zombie Labs, and then we have the Higher Toys Alien. This is a really nice figure, and it looks so good in this uh, Dio uh, Nova Ubiquitous Dio. It does look the part in here. It does this the whole space vibe, obviously, works really well with aliens. It just looks so damn good. Let me move this a bit closer again. 
looks really really big maybe i'll change it to the red light instead a bit of an emergency so this is an amazing figure i'm so happy i actually finally got one of these because it looks so good and it looks like this sort of setup here was made for this sort of figure purple yeah white yeah something blue maybe the best or maybe white for now it does look really quite good if you've not picked up one of these aliens that i do suggest you get one because they are absolutely fantastic really 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 nice okay let's come back and we can finish up Woo. okay this is awesome action toys signing out saying please like share and subscribe be back soon with more awesome action toy videos somewhere down here for you Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye-bye.